Today in the news, we got a whole lot of AMD. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Yesterday, a Reddit user posted a customer service email conversation with an ASUS representative talking about support for Ryzen 5000 on his Crosshair Hero 7 motherboard. During his call, he was told that Ryzen 5000 was not supported. He then asked the information to be escalated to the engineering department. The ASUS representative then responded with an email saying that according to their engineers, Ryzen 5000 is once again not supported with his X470 board. This Reddit post received a lot of attention and made the news on several news outlets. And I'm here to tell you that if you've seen this article, ignore it. Asus will support Ryzen 5000 processors on their B450 and X470 boards. Unfortunately, customer service representatives often don't have all of the information. And unless you can speak with an engineer directly, take what customer service says with a huge grain of salt. Planet 3D Now actually reached out to ASUS and confirmed that Ryzen 5000 will be supported. But there is a hiccup. If you were planning on popping your brand new 5900X that you somehow managed to pick up at launch in your B450 or X470 board, you're going to be in for a bad time. While it will be supported, you'll have to wait until January for the first beta BIOS to be available. This timeline comes directly from AMD's official Reddit account, which has posted an update a few days ago on the subject. Speaking of AMD and Ryzen 5000, all we got during the event was their X series processors, the 5950X, 5900X, 5800X, and 5600X. As we know, AMD usually has non-X variants of some of these processors available for purchase. And with the 5600X being the barrier for entry at 299, that's $100 more expensive than the really popular 3600, you can see why you might want to wait for the non-X variants. Well, Harukaze over on Twitter shared some information he gathered from an article. Apparently, the Ryzen 5 5600 non-X should be available in early 2021, with the very reasonable price of 220 US dollars. He also says that the article mentions a 5600X, which is a 6-core 12-thread CPU, to be better than an i7-10700, an 8-core 16-thread CPU from Intel. I think we kind of expected that after the event though. As usual, even if the Twitter leaker has been right in the past, take this information with a grain of salt. And lastly, with AMD, it looks like they might revive a relic from the past. Back in 2015, the company created what was at the time a very small console-sized PC concept with pretty extreme PC specs. For the CPU, it would use what was the fastest 8-core at the time, the Devil's Canyon Intel 4790K. Yep, an AMD product with an Intel CPU. For the graphics, it would have featured two R9 Fury Xs thanks to their small PCB size, although the only known teardown of this device shows it has a single Fury X. As you can see, it has a split design. The bottom of the case kept all of the components with pretty terrifying cable management, and it has a single water block flanked by both the CPU and GPU. That's actually a pretty cool design, no pun intended. The top of the case has all of the cooling equipment. The tubes go through the middle of the case and reach a 180 millimeter radiator powered by a single fan. It was a really cool design for 2015 and the size was also insane for the time, measuring in at 9.5 inches wide, 9.5 long, and 6.5 tall. So in total, it was a 9.6 liter case. I keep saying at the time because small form factor really boomed in the last few years. I mean, Hardware Canucks just built a 16 core system with a RTX 30 in a 7 liter case. So, yeah. Anyways, why am I talking about this five year old concept? Well, it looks like it might be coming back. Over the weekend, a Twitter user managed to find a patent for it dated for September 15th of this year. Personally, I think it's a little outdated considering its size and especially when it basically has an external power supply. Take a look at this thick cable and power brick. Cable management has got to be a challenge there. The patent is only for the ornamental aspect though, AKA the design. So what do you guys think about this five years down the line? Let me know down below. And that is pretty much it for the catch up, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. And I fixed my cap because a lot of you were annoyed by the big thing that was just popping out. Take care.